which iMac Pro configuration is right for you. Apple on Thursday commenced offers of the iMac Pro, its first across-the-board proficient review work area, pressing 8 Intel Xeon handling centers and 32GB of RAM into the passage level $4,999 demonstrate. The primary requests through Apple's site arrive soon after Christmas, by December 27. A totally maximized, 18 center late 2017 iMac Pro will set purchasers back $13,199, and really delivers in mid 2018. In the event that you need to get a higher layered iMac Pro, we think the best choice is Apple's $7,199 mid spec show which packs in a 10 center processor, Vega 64 illustrations with 16 gigabytes of memory, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1 terabyte SSD. Custom arrangements of the iMac Pro incorporate 64 gigabytes of RAM for another $800 or 128 gigabytes for an extra $2400. A hop to a 2 terabyte SSD is $800 while 4 terabytes costs $2,800. Climbing from the base Radeon Pro Vega 56 designs with 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory to the Vega 64 with 16 gigabytes is the minimum costly discretionary update accessible on the iMac Pro, coming in at $600. Overhauling the processor will cost $800 for a 10 center, $1,600 for a 12 center and $2,400 for the most elevated end 18 center CPU. The last two alternatives will expect you to hold up until late January or February before conveyance. Apple's legitimate application additionally says the machine will be accessible for in-store pickup beginning February 20. The iMac Pro ships in space gray, with coordinating lightning link to charge the included magic keyboard with numeric keypad, and magic mouse too. A Space Gray Magic Trackpad 2 is accessible available to be purchased in conjunction with the unit. Alongside iMac Pro Discharge, Apple has refreshed Final Cut Pro with new highlights including altering full determination 8K video, and augmentation of 360-degree VR video support to motion and compressor. It likewise incorporates refreshed shading amendment apparatuses, lit bolster, HDR video altering and sending out and bolster for HEVC and HEIF groups that Apple began using with the dispatch of iOS 11.